Let's get her out and then I shall explain. Let's find you some grass. So for those of you that know, you know that Estrid um, had a bit of a tumble uh, a few weeks back, but for those of you who didn't, this is Estrid. Um, she, we were schooling, we were working on our counter transitions um, and she was doing really well and it's probably the best counter transition she's ever done um, mounted anyway I'm sure she's done better by herself but um, and we were we'd done the transition we we're going around the field and one of the horses that is turned out next to the menage did something completely innocuous and Estrid got spooked and she then went sideways into like the arena is quite soft around the edge and both her left legs kind of fell into the soft surface of the arena and she did a roly-poly. She completely avoided me um, and she seemed fine at the time actually. Um, so I, I turned her back out, she was sound, um, but then she came in lame on both left legs. So left fore and left hind. Um, originally the left fore was the worst of the two. Um, but that recovered much much quicker so it's we're on like week five week six now um because we um put out the youtube videos kind of two to three weeks behind real time just to allow for like filming and editing and just life to happen whereas this is now real time um that this is going up because it's going up tomorrow um so yeah she's it's, we're on week six i think so the, the front left leg is completely fine now. She's still a little bit sore in her back because of compensating, but the left hind's taking a little bit longer. Um, it's way, way better. So she, originally she was just on rest in the field because she's much more comfortable in the field um, and she's more settled and I wanted her to be moving and, and happy more than anything else. Um, but after two weeks, yes, the front leg had got better, but the back leg wasn't progressing how I wanted it to. So we decided we'd bring her in for some box rest, um, which the first few days were not too spicy, but a little, a little spicy. Like a, um, she she box walked a lot. She was um, winning a lot. She was quite stressed, but she's really settled, and I'm so proud of her for settling into like the routine. And she's now really good to take out and graze. Um, and I tie her up in the barn to muck out, and she's good as gold. So. She's done really, really well, and I'm super proud of how she's kind of taken it all in her stride and has just kind of accepted it. Um, for a horse that really didn't like being stabled, I'm, I'm pleased, and it's made box rest super easy. Unfortunately, in the wind, um, we did have a little setback. Um, a bit of the ceiling fell on her in the stable, and understandably, it... Um, it scared her and she bolted through the door breaking the door um, and she was then a little bit sore after that um, and whilst we got this the having the stable fixed she went back out in the field and the reason she's come in from the field is it's super super boggy and she's having to lift all the time um, if it was dry and the fields weren't muddy she could probably have done all her recovery out hey yes but it's not it's super muddy um, so we had that little setback but all credit to her, I thought she'd be super stressed about going back in the stable. She wasn't. She just head down, had a munch, um, and that was that. There was no drama. So I'm really glad that um, that little episode didn't put us back and then we'd have no options if she wouldn't sell on the stable and it wouldn't have been good in the field, but we're good. So I reckon we've got maybe another couple of weeks um, of box rest and we're walking out already. So she's had I don't know how many weeks it's been of like box rest without exercise but we're now walking out this is week two of walking out um and she's going really well and 
I'm really pleased. So hopefully it won't be anything long term because it's very, very minor now. Um, we're, we're actually sound on the hard, but not on the flat, no. Um, and we're sound on the straight, but not on the circle. So we're definitely getting there. Um, but this isn't a big but, this is like a, a video. But um, obviously we're not gonna be up to much exciting things in the next few weeks. It's gonna be more of hand grazing, walking and mucking out. And really, I don't want to be videoing hand grazing, mucking out, walking and estrid updates every week for the next few weeks. And Tizzy isn't doing much either because of the weather and we're just having little poodles out and about. So I thought this is an ideal opportunity to have a bit of a YouTube sabbatical um, and not post any videos for a while because just when I'm not doing fun stuff, it's not fun for you to come along really. And I don't want to just film things for the sake of filming it. It's not like it's my job and I have to do it. Um, so for now, bye for now. So this will be the last video until we get back up and running. Um, and I've actually got something exciting to show you and things to update you on. Um, so happy springtime and hopefully see you all soon.